We've had enough burnt up around here without any more. 84-year-old Ken Ebert runs the Evergreen Fishing Resort. Nestled along Loon Lake in B.C.'s southern interior, it's been in his family for six decades and counting. But back-to-back record-breaking wildfire seasons leveled the area, including six of the resort's cabins. Then this year, finally some relief. Thankfully, like I say, this one, this summer now, it's been um, mild, uh, more rain and, and, and not as hot. The dramatic scenes he witnessed on the ground were also seen from space and they're reflected in the numbers too. Records were shattered in 2017 when more than 1,300 wildfires scorched B.C. at a cost of $650 million. In 2018, even more forest fires, 2,100 with a price tag of $615 million. But 2019 has seen a third, not even 700 fires so far, barely totaling $100,000. Definitely a a very different look to many parts of the province this year as compared to the last two. In fact, the province says it's been so slow this year, fire crews from B.C. have been redeployed to help elsewhere. We had uh, hundreds and hundreds of personnel in Alberta, and we've also had personnel go to Yukon, uh, Ontario, as well as the state of Alaska. The sudden halt to B.C.'s fire season has caught many by surprise. The big question, why? The main reason, the weather. Uh, This year, it didn't quite pan out the way the models projected. This fire ecologist says cooler temperatures and more rain put a damper on the typically hot and dry conditions. And he would know he inspects those conditions on a daily basis in the forest. This is where a lot of our heat from the fires comes from. It's from the surface. He says mitigation work, like getting rid of the fire fuel on the forest floor, will help prevent more fires, not if, but when they spark up again. Let's take advantage of this down year, uh, get a lot of good work done, and be prepared for the future, which is just, unfortunately, more fire. Yeah, that... For Ken Ebert back in Loon Lake, that message is unwelcome, but not unexpected. He knows the fires may be a force they'll have to continue fighting. We're just not giving up, I guess. (laughs) Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.